Welcome back friends. So today I have a small, not too big Dollar Tree haul, but I found some really good things and I wanted to share them with you. So let's just jump I'm going to start with this bag and they are in no particular order. I'm just going to start grabbing things out of the bags and showing you some of the things that I found. But first I'm going to start with this product here. This thing fell out of here, but let me start with this product here. I can't believe I found this product. So this is not a very known brand at least i don't know the brand but i did find this box here and in this box i will show you guys there is an eyeshadow palette and it tells you on the back uh you know it's called the bittersweet eyeshadow palette and uh, it tells you does it tell you the colors not on here but it comes in a box like this this is what it looks like and then okay it has a little mirror there so you guys can see inside here and then you have all these eyeshadows and then you have these eyeshadows all in one look at that oh my goodness look at all these eyeshadows that you get for a dollar 25 and oh my goodness they're so pretty the colors are just beautiful look at the neutrals oh i love the neutrals and i was thinking this would be a good gift for a teenager you know now that these kids are graduating from high school. My goddaughter, which is my niece, included. She's graduating this year from high school. I'm thinking that I might put all like this type of stuff together in a basket with some money and give it to her for her graduation. I think that would be a great idea, especially if they're just now just starting to learn how to do their makeup. This would be good. And so for $1.25, my God, this is the only palette that I found in my Dollar Tree. And I believe there might be a few different types of palettes as well that I've seen on Instagram, but I, they only have two of them in my store left and I just happened to grab, see it and I grabbed the one. So I think this is an amazing deal for a dollar 25. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it is, it's so hot today. Okay. So the other, oh my gosh, thing that I found, and they only had two of them, and I picked up the two that they had there. They had these, look at how pretty these, like, soap pump dispensers. They're glass, as you can hear. And let me put one, I picked up the two that they had, but, oh my goodness, this would be perfect for, say, if you want your bathroom, or in your kitchen, if you want to put some dish soap in here, and use this when you're, you know, dispensing your dish soap, or you can put it in your bathroom with what it's intended for soap hand soap and then maybe some hand lotion on this one and then maybe put a little tag on there to you know so that way you know what it is but i picked up the two because i thought these were so pretty look at that so so pretty i love them they're so nice looking and they're glass too i grabbed some shower caps i like to use these shower caps because when i dye my hair i put it over my hair and as you can tell i dyed my hair a little darker it's not as light as it usually is I don't know if you guys can see it's it's like a dark black but not all the way black like the stark black it has a brown black is what it's called but you can tell and I like to use these shower caps over my hair when I'm dyeing my head my hair my head <laughs> when I'm dyeing my hair and you get 10 shower caps in this right here and they're the disposable ones but I like to use these I picked up some lighters because I needed lighters but I also picked up this little guy here and this is in the baby section but what I liked about this was when you open it do you see right here I liked it so when I'm weeding my vinyl from the Cricut which I hardly use my Cricut but I need to start using it more I can actually put my little tool in here and we take off the you know how the vinyl gets stuck to your little hook you can just put it right in here and I'm hoping it works. I don't know, but I saw this and that's what I thought of instantly was for my Cricut. I picked up these cute little baskets. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute these little baskets are. They had different shapes and different styles, but I picked these guys up. They're pretty small, they're as big as my hand. And I saw these and I thought, you know what? These would be perfect for my altar, for my Dia de los Muertos altar. So I picked up three of these tiny little baskets. And all right, in this bag here, it's four of the same item. But when I see this item, and they, they don't always have this at Dollar Tree, so when I see it, I stock up on it. 
because I don't know if they're going to bring them back or when they're going to bring them back, but it is the scent beads right here. These smell so good. These go in your washer and they're supposed to be like the downy beads that you buy at the store for like six bucks or whatever it is, a bottle, once you get for $1.25 and you get 17.5 ounces in this here. And I love using these guys, especially on my towels. They smell so good. And sometimes they're pink, sometimes they're blue. Today they're blue. And I did see somebody on, I think it was TikTok or Instagram. I saw it somewhere that they said that these are the downy beads, that the only reason why they get them at Dollar Tree is because they don't, they're not completely round like the ones that you buy at, um, oops, like the ones that you buy at the store, like at the regular store, because these little beads are half, they're not a full circle, they're a half circle. So I don't know how true that is, but I'll take these any day. So I picked up some cleaning stuff, like to clean my washer. I had seen these before at Dollar Tree. I didn't pick them up, they sold out, and then they finally brought them back again. I've heard they work really well, but they're to clean your washer. And so I picked up two packs of that. I need to really clean my washer. I constantly do clean my washer, but I wanted to do a deep clean with this inside the actual drum. So I picked up two of these cleaners for the washing machine. And it says there's three pouches in here, in each one. I picked up some Glade scent sprays, and this is in the scent Rose, Rose and Bloom. And they smell really good. They smell like roses. So I picked up these uh, two scent sprays. They are now, I think, like over $2 at Walmart. So it is cheaper now to get them at Dollar Tree for $1.25. So I picked up this all-purpose cleaner. I've never seen this cleaner before at my Dollar Tree. What the heck was in there? Something was powdery on there. But anyways, i seen this at my Dollar Tree. I have never seen this in my Dollar Tree. It's an all-purpose cleaner. It's peppermint sage. And it has a spray bottle here but I'm curious to try this and let me see I haven't I didn't smell it I didn't want to open it up at the store because I didn't want it to leak mmm that does smell good actually it smells really pepperminty you know and uh, of course it has peppermint and sage both things that I really like so I can't wait to start using this if it works really good I might go back and get some more all right so I found some Ardell lashes and they had a bunch of different styles. This is in the style, what number is this? This is this Ardell 344 and this is the 340. And they're supposed to be um, activated with water. And so I think I'm going to put these also in my niece's basket. And uh, that with, I have this, what is this here? Oh, this is the lash glue. It's a glue that you actually, it's in a, like a pencil type of form, like a liquid that you put over like this, like eyeliner. So I got that and this is the Ioni in black. And then I got the Ioni brow pencil in Amazon, Amazonian brown. And then I also picked up this highlighter in, it's a, actually highlight and bronzer is what it is. Those, I'm, I'm thinking about putting those also in my niece's basket, but we'll see. We'll see as I start putting her basket together for her graduation. But I also found these adorable little tinsels for your cupcakes for 4th of July. So when I make cupcakes, I can just put them on there. Or even you can use these for your faux pup cupcakes. <laughs> you can also use these for your faux cupcakes if you wanted to as well. I also bought another pack of these napkins. They finally brought them back out. I had bought some of these for, like I told you guys, my niece and my nephew are gonna be here. And only six napkins, eight napkins. Oh, this one has eight napkins. The other one had six. That's weird. But anyways, I got another one of these napkins because I didn't have enough for all of us. So I picked this really pretty sign up that says welcome. And this was in the Mother's Day aisle. But I got this because Hold on, let me go grab the thing. Like I was saying, I grabbed this because, put this down here, I have this here. So we got this Dia de los Muertos small little altar. It's from Target. 
and I got it at the auction and I believe I got it for a dollar or two dollars I think it was something like that but as you can see it's missing the top part this part and I thought maybe that I could use this on there but I think it's it's a little too wide but I don't know we'll see if I can actually fix that and use that for that but I also found this cute little sign here that says welcome to our home and I'm gonna use this for a DIY down the line we'll see but anyway the last thing that I picked up at Dollar Tree were these card stocks right here and I got them because they have different colors in them this is a glitter one and here's some more glitter different glitter colors and I've never tried them but I do want to do some monarch butterflies for my Dia de los Muertos altar and I want to use my Cricut to do that. I know that on, in Cricut, the design space, they have like the little cutouts for the uh, butterflies. So I'm hoping they have one for Monarch. And that way I can uh, do my little butterflies for my ofrenda. So, and then these, just because, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll do them different colors. The traditional color is like an orange and black, but you can get creative. Anyway, those were all my finds. It wasn't a ton of stuff. They did have quite a bit of stuff at my Dollar Trees. When I go to Dollar Tree, I usually like to go to all three of my Dollar Trees around me. They're not too far from each other, but um, that's from all three Dollar Trees. And it's, a, you know, usually it's multiple trips. It's not just the one trip that I buy all this. But I was thinking that I'm going to start working on my stuff for my ofrenda. I know we are still in May and it's a little early, but it's going to take me time to do what I want to do for my ofrenda this year. So I think I'm going to start working on those DIYs. I don't know if you guys want to see it or not, but um, I have ideas on what I want to do. So I want to start now, just in case they don't come out, you know, and um, I could start all over again. But I do have ideas on how I do want to do my altar this year. So I think I'm just going to start working on those DIYs. So I did have a refreshment series that I wanted to do for the summer. But I really want to work on my ofrenda, <laughs> the things for my ofrenda. So I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, that was everything that I found at Dollar Tree. I hope you guys go out there and find some amazing stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.